someday. In the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, February the 8th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. And just a quick reminder, we've got our Storm Alert Tour coming up. We'll be at Calera High School this coming Thursday. Doors open at 5. The program starts around 6.30. There's a look at the sky cam from Decatur this morning, and certainly a beautiful shot up there. And uh, from Chiha, you can see that most of us are waking up to a rather coolish morning with uh, clouds and some wintry precipitation, especially northwest of Birmingham in the uh, area of Marion County and Hamilton. So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, the winter weather advisory is uh, expected to expire shortly, but that will cause a few travel problems up that way. Uh, the weather pattern for this morning features primarily at the surface a uh, high-pressure area over Pennsylvania and Ohio that is making its influence felt down across the southeastern U.S. and the lower Mississippi River Valley. In the upper atmosphere, we're still uh, watching and uh, seeing a rather uh, long-wave trough position over the eastern half of the country that is keeping us somewhat coolish, and that's going to keep us kind of on the edge of weather conditions for the upcoming week. We're going to have some near misses and near hits or whatever. We're going to have to watch those. Cold across the north-central United States. Look at that, minus 26 up there on the Canadian border and some negative values. Uh, freezing coming all the way down into north Alabama and northern Mississippi, much of Arkansas. Uh, across central Alabama, temperatures this morning generally in the middle 30s. You get up into the Tennessee River Valley and temperatures are in the 30 to 32 range and they're having a little bit of precipitation up that way. Precipitation has begun to die off quite a bit uh, this morning, but still some icing issues in a, a few bridges here and there across parts of uh, Fayette and Marion County uh, that have been reported this morning. So uh, just keep that in mind. Winter weather advisories in effect for parts of the Mid-South area, including northern Mississippi, parts of extreme eastern Arkansas, middle and west Tennessee, and a little bit of uh, extreme uh, or northwest parts of uh, Alabama, and then a part of central and southern southeastern Kentucky. QPF-wise, uh, we're expecting to have some rain um, primarily in the uh, Tuesday time frame that will bring us probably on the order of uh, on the order of maybe a half to one inch of precipitation possibility. And thanks to the cold weather across this, the vast United States, we have no organized severe thunderstorms expected. All right, let's get to 06C GFS model run and. Um, some model differences making the forecast confidence uh, stay rather low right now. Here's the uh, pattern for today at midday, and you can see little patches of uh, some precipitation in the colder air uh, represented by the 540 thickness line, that uh, the change from red to blue, and uh, that first line that's blue being the 540 thickness line, but the surface low moving out across the southwest Atlantic and affecting the southeast U.S. coast. We, we do see in the upper atmosphere that there's generally a long wave trough position over the eastern half of the country. Now, on Sunday, the short waves that are disturbing the flow and creating some wintry weather problems for the Great Lakes area, they're staying up that way. You can see several of those, one over Ohio, one over Lake Michigan, and one over eastern Iowa. But uh, So that keeps uh, much of uh, the wintry precipitation, but not something ex uh, especially heavy. Uh, going on uh, in parts of Kentucky, Ohio, uh, Pennsylvania, New York, the Great Lakes uh, area, especially central and eastern Great Lakes. That disturbance moves on, but we do note a, a, a small disturbance coming out of the western, pardon me, coming down the eastern side of the Rockies, coming out of the western U.S., and uh, that will be responsible for bringing down some more cold air. And you see the problem we're dealing with here is the Tennessee River Valley is going to be right on that boundary between the cold air and the warmer air. So uh, you can see that with the marker of the 540 thickness line, that first blue line. So uh, no problems on Monday. A bit of a, a dry cold front moves through. But 
On Tuesday, we have two problems. We have first the little short wave you see over northern Arkansas and southern Missouri, and then we have the second short wave that's back over northwestern Mexico. Now, the first short wave is going to come through and possibly create a little bit of precipitation. The second short wave doesn't make it into our area and crossing the Mississippi River on Wednesday, and that is expected to, uh, the GFS is forecasting the bit of a, low developing in the Gulf, but that would keep the precipitation pretty far to the south. And it also, uh, the GFS is still suggesting that the cold air would be in Tennessee and northward. So it doesn't look like that would provide any kind of serious winter weather. However, we've got to worry about Tuesday morning because when the temperatures are down near freezing, we could start off with a wintry mix that would switch over to just rain. And then, of course, we've got to watch this situation on Wednesday because if the GFS is off at all on the position of the low in the Gulf, then that could also have a serious impact on what kind of weather we get. Plus, what if the 540 line's a little further south? So this is basically a really a stay tuned forecast. We're going to have to fine tune this forecast as we get closer to the event. The long wave trough position remains fixed over the eastern half of the country on Thursday, but much of the energy is now to our north. So uh, while the trough is going by us and keeping us in somewhat of a cool pattern on Thursday, the precipitation should be out of here uh, with any low that moves out into the southwest Atlantic. By Friday, we do see this uh, still cool pattern and uh, with uh, some uh, disturbances coming through the flow. But once again, those disturbances producing much of the weather basically north of the Tennessee River Valley on Friday. And once again, probably a bit of a snow event, but not something that's a, a humongous snow event, at least right now. And then when we get out to a week from today on Saturday, the 15th, by the way, don't forget 14th, Friday the 14th is Valentine's Day, so don't forget that. We see that the flow is once again returned to something where it's not zonal. We're still in a bit of a long wave trough position, but the long wave trough, not especially high amplitude, not very deep. And the disturbances are all well to the north across the Great Lakes area, keeping them in a bit of winter weather. The GFS in voodoo country week two is suggesting that we're going to see some fairly major changes. It goes to a near zonal pattern across much of the United States on the 18th, that's Tuesday the 18th, but by the 23rd, it has transitioned to a, a big difference with a big ridge over the eastern third of the country and a fairly deep trough uh, along the west coast and, and over the Rockies uh, and along the Rocky Mountain area. So it looks like we could be into a, a big transition, and this kind of pattern would suggest that we're going to have a wet, warm end to uh, the latter part of February. But you know about voodoo. We'll see. Thanks for tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. I expect to have the next one posted first thing on uh, Sunday morning by 8 a.m. or so. Have a great day and Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.